Well, fall is officially here and I have been having so much fun making fall themed and inspired projects over the past couple of weeks. Hello, my name is Sana and I like to talk about books and crafty things and especially crochet. And in today's video, we're just gonna have more of a laid back kind of fall themed video. So I do have a craft market coming up and I have been really focused on making things for the craft market, but also making things for me to get me in the mood more for fall. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you just a couple of the projects that I have been making recently that inspired me when it came to all things autumnal and what I'm going to be making for my craft market. So what is fall crochet without making some pumpkins? <laughs> This is a pattern from the designer Stitch Sister Co over on Etsy. And I actually had a dear crochet friend who was making these as well. And the pattern was just so cute. So I went ahead and I picked it up and I did stitch up some granny square pumpkins. This is the first one that I made and I did use a, I love this cotton variegated yarn. And as you can see, it turned out really, really cute. I thought that the colors were very autumnal and it just turned out really nice. I then added some cinnamon sticks as the stems. You'll see some of the other ones I've made, I did use yarn for the stems, but I thought for this one, some cinnamon sticks would be perfect. And it smells nice too, so it, it worked out great. This was the large pumpkin. I then made a medium size pumpkin out of I Love This Cotton. And this one you can see is a little bit smaller for sure. This one is very small, uh, but I really like the size and it worked up fairly quickly. So I think going forward, if I do decide to make more of these granny square pumpkins, then I would probably go with this size just because of how fast it works up. Also using the I Love This Cotton, I made some mini pumpkins. Now these turned out super teeny tiny. So I turned them into keychains because I don't, I, I don't know, I guess you could use these as decor, but <laughs> I thought these would be better off as keychains. So I added some little key rings to them. They've got the cute little hearts, which I thought were a darling. And yeah, I just, we got some little mini keychain pumpkins. And lastly, I did need to try using my Parfait Chunky. And so I did this more candy corn type of color palette and it turned out fun. So this one is also a medium sized pumpkin. So again, for reference, this was the medium in the worsted weight cotton. And then here we have the medium in that chenille, that bulky chenille. This was the large pumpkin in the cotton. So going forward, I think I will just be doing this medium pattern. And if I want them to be bigger or smaller, I'll just change up the weight of yarn versus the size of the pumpkin. So I have been very into frogs, like crazy into frogs lately. And I do feel like frogs are very trendy. Sorry, I'm just grabbing all of my frogs that I've made. There's a ton of them. Ah! And so I made quite a few frogs. So the first ones that I want to talk about actually are some leggy froggies, but no, not those ones. So I found a sewing pattern for some leggy froggies and I found this really darling fabric over at Michael's. So I decided to make some of these sewn leggy froggies instead of the crocheted ones. Now this is from the designer Jane Magic Craft and I did get this pattern over on Etsy. And again, they are super cute little leggy froggies that you sew together. So of course I had to do a green one, super cute. I added safety eyes and then I did just draw the mouth on. I thought that was faster than actually sewing it. And then I also got this kind of moon celestial type of fabric, which I think this one turned out super cute. And lastly, because it's the Halloween season, we have the spider web fabric. So yeah, something about frogs just make me feel like it's fall time. And I have no idea why, but I've made a ton of frogs. So in addition to sewing the leggy froggies, I did make some frog mages. This is a pattern by the Magic Circle Crochet, which I think is a really cute name for a designer. I don't know, I just think that's really fun. But anyways, these are the frog mages and I did make three of them, but I gifted one away. I'll talk about that in a moment. So this mage here does have his little cape and he of course has 
his little hat. Super cute. This one I decided not to put a cape on and it's just the little hat. It looks like a little witch's hat. These work up super fast, super quick. Loved it. I probably will be making more of this pattern in the future because especially this little grumpy one too cute, right? But then I also made one out of my beloved Barocco vintage yarn. And I did gift this one to my tattoo artist. So for Friday the 13th, I did get a Friday the 13th flash piece. And it is this darling little witchy frog. I love her so much. And so I did crochet this pattern up for my tattoo artist. And I did gift it to her after the tattoo was done. Because I knew I was getting that tattoo and because I knew of this pattern, I had to make it for her. And I do love the one that I made with Barocco Vintage. I think that one was my favorite one. So I'm probably gonna have to make another one because it turned out so cute. So the next project, oh my gosh, I love them so much. They are too cute. But they are the Pumpkin Spice Felt Plushies. So this is from the designer Michelle Ashley Crafts. And I have talked about this pattern and this pattern maker before on my channel. Their plushies are some of the most darling felt plushies I have ever seen. I love them so much. So this Pumpkin Spice Latte pattern, you buy the pattern, I got mine off of Etsy, and then they have a a YouTube video that you follow to create your own. I made three different colors. We have this more kind of brown one here. We have the orange because of course it's like pumpkin spice, right? But I think my favorite one is this dark brown one. I don't know, I think just the contrast of all of the colors together. Just this one really feels like the most fall to me. And it's just so fun. You have the little whipped cream on top. You can see the little um, coffee there, the little latte. You got some cinnamon sticks on there. And I will probably make these over and over and over again, just because I love making them and they make me so happy to look at. There's something so relaxing about just having a needle and thread and just doing some stitches. Uh, it's such a good time. Be sure to check out Michelle Ashley Crafts YouTube. I have listed it down below. There is still some amazing free videos up on their channel. And if you are interested in making felt plushies, I think it's an excellent place to start. So the last project I made for fall is my favorite project that I made and I love it and I'm never taking it off. And you can tell because it's been on my head this entire time. <laughs> So I did make this super cute ghost knitted hat. Oh my gosh, I am so excited with how this turned out. So I recently just got my very first embroidery machine. And let me tell you, when I say I've been obsessed with embroidering, this video would be so long if I included all of the darling little snap tabs that I have been creating. Look at how cute all of these are. But that just wasn't enough. And so I decided I was gonna go ahead and make myself a knitted hat. Now I could have crocheted the hat, but to save time, I went ahead and I did use my Centro knitting machine and I got some Lion Brand yarn. I just got a really fun kind of fall autumnal color, but because the size of the brim is so big, I was then able to put the embroidered ghost on there. Now this is a embroidery file from Nata Embroidery Shop and it was pretty simple. It took maybe about an hour for it to actually embroidered up, but then I just cut it out and went ahead and sewed it onto my hat and I haven't been able to take it off since I've made it. I just love it so much and we are getting really close to the time of year where I can just wear knitted hats all year long. <laughs> I love wearing knitted hats. It's one of my favorite things to style every day just because then I don't need to do anything with my hair <laughs> every day and it looks great I think. I don't know but yeah that's it. That's all I had to say about that. I know a nice little short video this week just really focusing on my craft market right now and just really getting in the season of fall and autumn. So I just wanted to talk about these projects really quickly but thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. Please tell me what you have been working on. What fall things are you most excited for? I love you so much. You are so amazing. Happy fall. And I will see you all a little later. Bye. Apparently there was a sticker in my hair that entire time. <laughs> okay, cool. Was that there the whole time? <laughs> Dang. Oh, well. <laughs> Bye, guys.